Shalom. Before I begin this video, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rachakwadash, and also double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continuously rule very well to this very day. That is um, also feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. I uh, continue to do this work for years and years on end, staying in the spirit and staying strong. And also, likewise, uh, much due honors to the, the sincere brothers, the Akim, the ones who are of the hopeful elect, is also uh, doing his work and giving it your all in this truth to show forth your faith in his ministry and giving all diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth, sincerity, and also in all charity. Now, um, this video is going to, you know, continue in the, in the spirit of uh, going into this uh this, this demon, this demonic spirit that's uh, going around the camps outside of Great Millstone, should I say, in which uh, the spirit is of uh, um, basically to stay in Babylon the Great, okay, or to um, have some sort of foundation here in Babylon and to uh, continue to live here and to, until ultimately you die, all right? You know, that's the spirit that's being pushed out and and the thing is is that you know and, and you know continuing the spirit of uh, what's going on you know that begs the question well if you know you have these uh people that call themselves hebrew israelites that are perpetuating and promoting you to uh you know build something for yourself here in um babylon the great well consider yahweh shy Okay, so consider Yahweh Shai and his lifestyle. How did he live? Okay, because if you observe the works of Yahweh Shai and also as well the apostles that learned under Yahweh Shai, how did they live? You know, did they make a um, did they make some sort of you know foundation or they try to build something for themselves in the Roman Empire? No, they didn't. Okay, because even in the ministry. When Yahweh Shah was teaching, okay, he was moving from place to place. Okay. You know, he didn't have a, a house to himself or have his own property, you know, uh, a home base to go back to. No, man, he was on the move constantly, man. So the same thing with the apostles. They were always on the move. Okay. And they continued to, to teach the people and everywhere that they went to. Okay. And that is the same spirit that is on this camp, Great Millstone, starting with the apostles and elders on down to uh, the rest of the brothers, man. OK, we're, we're in the in um, the spirit to teach, man, and to consistently teach. OK, no, we're not about to take a year off for this, man. OK. We're not about to take a year off from doing from doing the work because, you know, somebody is in their feelings and they believe that, you know, we're doing too much. And that, you know, we're disregarding our families and this and that, a third Well, You understand what it is to be in the truth in the first place. You don't understand how it is to operate under the spirit of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Okay? Because first and foremost, this place is about to pass away. Okay? And be destroyed. So the thing that these people are building up is going to be destroyed in an hour's time okay it's gonna take one hour to destroy everything man okay so again like i mentioned before concerning the house shiny apostles uh they they you know they didn't have a, a a home you know a home base to go back to no they constantly stayed on the move all right and yeah shy he even said himself that he was homeless okay and that's why you shouldn't even you know Consider somebody being homeless as you know something that of, of low stature. You want to know why? Because Yahweh Shah was uh, homeless. Let me go ahead and get it. Okay, this is the book of uh, it's like yeah, the book of uh, Matthew chapter eight and then verse twenty. All right, and this is what Yahweh Shah said. Okay, who these people inwardly call Jesus? Okay, now it says uh, Matthew chapter eight verse twenty. It says, the, "And Yahweh Shah saith unto him, the foxes have holes." And the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man hath nowhere to lay his head. See? 
and it was a record it was a response to a scribe that came up and um and he wanted to follow okay but y'all shot told him say look the foxes have holes the birds have nests but look i don't have nowhere to lay my head so in other words he was telling look are you prepared to be homeless okay because the house shot was homeless man all right so even the foxes and the birds have a place to go back to all right but the son of man all right, Yahweh Shai and the apostles and, and the, uh, the, the men of the Lord, they don't have nowhere to, to lay their heads. Yeah, we have our own homes that we go home to after doing the work, you know, going about our business. But we know that's the life of, of a prophet, man. All right. That's the life of the men of the Lord. And, and if it happens, it happens. OK. And we just have to deal with it. Even um, in the book of Sirach, right, it tells you uh, when you're changed to a lower state, you're supposed to endure. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2, verse uh, verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. All right, and that's on all levels. Okay, because it's going to get to a point where you're going to be tried. Uh, you're going to be completely tried, right? And you have to prepare your soul for that, man. Okay, these people that, that uh, perpetuate a mode of or the spirit of staying in Babylon, they're not being tried, man. All right? If they're being tried in the spirit and being tempted, then they'll be in the, in the same spirit as we are, man. We're ready to get up out of here. Why? Because we're continually enduring in uh, temptations on, on every single level, man. Okay? We have to endure the madness. We have to endure all these, uh, these the, 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 the filthy language the filthy conversation, should I say, the filthy conversation of, of the wicked, man. All right. And being under the captivity of this man. All right. In which I'm talking about Edom. Okay. Uh, verse two, it says, set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in the time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at, at, at thy last end. All right, and this is the point. Verse 4 says, Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully. And be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Okay? What's the form of being in a lower state? All right? Being in a lower state is uh, being uh, damn near broke. All right? Or should I say, uh, you know, not having the resources that you would have or, you know, basically being uh, being in in in, in uh I would say being compared to being a, a lion amongst the dunghill, man. Okay. So when you're changed to a lower state, be patient, man. All right. And um, whatsoever was brought on you, you're supposed to take that cheerfully. Why? Because um, the apostles were cheerful. Back in the Shah's time, when he when he uh, suffered the cross and was ascended up afterwards. All right. When the apostles were going through the same thing, they, they cheered, man. They, they, they were cheerful. They were in a, in a cheerful spirit. And they were rejoicing that they suffered the same things that Yahweh suffered. So likewise us, man, if, we, if we're suffering the same things that Yahweh is suffering, then that means we're doing the right thing. Okay? Because that's the life he lived. So it said, well, it's brought upon thee. Take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. Okay? And being also in another form of being in a lower state is not having your own home. Okay. You know, being homeless, not having a place to lay your head. You know, that's that's at that's at the lowest form of of, of uh, being of of a lower state. Okay. Um, verse five it says, "For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity." So you have to be in the furnace of adversity. You have to be in adversity to be accepted man all right that's what it means to be accepted of the most high like it says here it says acceptable men in the furnace of adversity all right now I'll move on from there um
All right, let me go ahead and grab this one here. Philippians chapter 3, uh, verse... Uh, let me start at verse 16. Philippians chapter 3, verse 16. It says, Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. What's that talking about? Mind the same things as as the doctrine, all right, in which Yahushua was teaching, okay? Verse 17 says, Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example, right? So the men of the Lord that were back then, they were made for examples on how to conduct yourself, okay? Now, like again, like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, you had the men of the Lord that were there, you know, they, they weren't trying to establish themselves, you know, in their own, uh, in, in the Roman Empire because it was under captivity. Okay. So same thing with us, man. We, we're, we're under captivity. So we're, we're not trying to establish ourselves and trying to, you know, um, have a long lasting uh, foundation or, you know, this and that and the third, you know, try to build up some sort of retirement plan or 501k or whatever the benefits that you have for you to, to continue to live here in Babylon and die, man. No, we're looking to live, okay? We're looking to be delivered from this place and, and, and be given eternal life, man. Okay, that's what it's about. All right? See, see, when Jake say things like that, I'm talking about the ones that are um, in these other camps trying to uh, do the opposite or try to, you know, build up uh, their own foundation here. You know, they'll let you know that uh, when it comes to uh, leaving this place, they let you know that they're, they're really not trying to leave, man. Okay, they're not ready to go. They love they love Egypt, and they want to stay here. Okay, that means that the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yah is not on them. Okay. And just to add an extra note. You know, yeah, you know, you have brothers in in, in the camps that, um, you know, they got their own gigs. You know, they, they, they make certain things happen. You know, they try to, and, and they, what they do is they use the world but don't abuse it, all right? Now, doing what this guy, Chief Ephraim, is doing, you know, I <laughs> try not to bring him up, but I, I got to, for uh, to use him as an example. So Chief Ephraim, what he's doing, man, is abusing the world, okay? by doing what he's doing, okay? But what we're doing, we're using the world. We're using the world to our advantages, okay? And at the end of the day, we know that we're about to be delivered, okay? So we have no attachments to this world. We don't have any attachments to Babylon. We completely let go of this place, okay? So uh, with that, I'm going to end off the lesson on that note. Uh, Lord's Widow is edifying. To, uh, you send bro sincere brothers that believe and also you a uh, few sisters that believe as well um, once again I want to give all praise honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yoshai Bashim Rukhakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone that rule well and also Shalom to the elect like, that's a uh, labor in this work as well giving you diligence to make your calling and election sure and faith and truth sincerity and all charity